And so I'm all uh, oiled and ready for the second <laughs> segment of the show, ladies and gentlemen. We have international chef. Award winning. Award winning chef from Jamaica. You know, ever so often, <laughs> you get a chance to show off and be proud of Jamaica and Jamaicans. And of course, this gentleman is one such person we're very, yes, yes. very, very proud of. Waving Chef Noel Cunningham. Yes, man. Thanks for having welcome, me. Welcome, yes, sir. Man. I'm telling you, thanks before you even welcome me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the first time. I'm the first time. Very first, first time. time. Come on, come on, come on. All the crew for clap to crew. I'm certainly not the last. <laughs> come on. Certainly not the last. Certainly not the last. Though. Definitely not yes. the last. I can tell you. Don't tell me. Come visit us more often. Which is right. Top man, you've got him book and everything out. And of course, you, you, you're still living in Canada, as yeah, man, I'm yeah. assuming, in right? Pole, yeah. So he's visiting right now. <laughs> yeah. He already did his quarantine. He said, take an extra oh, yeah. day. Just to put that yeah, out so there. 15 days <laughs> instead of 14. I did 15 yeah. extra because I don't, I don't have no luck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have no he's luck. He's bubbling up. As he said, I said, I'll show him at all. Yes. Welcome, sir. Yes, man. Thanks for having me. Pleasure to yes, have man. you. So, what are you cooking today, man? So I'm making a stuffed chicken breast with kalaloo and feta cheese. And also doing a potato and planting croquettes. A little what? veg, and of course, we're gonna end things on a buzz. Yes. With a cocktail, which is using the festive season flavors, which is eggnog, some caramel, a little cinnamon, and some vodka. Nice. Sounds yeah. like a whole so, of things. At first, it sounds like, you know. A lot. Yes. yes. Yeah. Very out of our reach, yeah. elevated, but they are really simple, simple ingredients. Simple part, yeah. Yeah. So, talk to us a, a little about how you put this recipe together. All right, so first of all, I think local first, even though I'm living in Canada. Mm -hmm. I think where I'm at, local. Yeah, local. <laughs> yeah. So, of course, you know, chicken breast, and I think um, kalaloo, mm -hmm. and I'm using some feta cheese. I like feta cheese flavor. It's very sharp, bold flavor. Okay. And then, of course, the croquettes now is just potato and plant, which we all should have. What yes, is a yeah. croquette? A croquette is a is a fry like a morsel. So it's a fry um say with um starch mm -hmm. that you roll into a ball and you bread it. Okay. Yeah, and you, and you bread it basically. So it's like meat in a bread. Yeah. No, okay. no there's no meat in the croquettes. So there's no meat, but there's no meat also, in the croquettes. Yeah. We can also add meat to it. You can add meat to it. Yeah. Ah, you have okay. chef in a year, no, you have chef in a <laughs> No, no, no. I mean, I'm, I'm like a cooking skills. No, yeah. Like is a croquette a side or is it like an appetizer? Okay, well, well that's a good question. So you can serve it as a side with a nice dip. Mm -hmm. or you can also serve it as a starch on the side. So it's very versatile. Okay. And, yeah. and, and you can do it in any shape you want, right? You yes, can, can roll shape, it cylindrically. Well, you can do like meatballs or, you know, whatever you want to do. Chef I'm for real. Chef learn, man, learn. Yeah. So, so, so while you do your cooking, yeah. uh, Chef, uh, you're going to take us through, but we also have some great questions to yeah, ask you. Okay. Ask about, away. about your life and, and uh, this exciting time that's going on right yeah. now. I mean, how has COVID affected your business, I mean, a lot of restaurants, and what, what have you been doing? Yeah, all right, so at the start of COVID, I was supposed to go to Winnipeg, right, to do my book launch, then Toronto, come back to Jamaica in April to do my book launch, then boom, I heard about this thing called COVID. Yeah. And of course, everyone went into panic, right? But then, you know, being who I am, I just bounced back, and I started doing some Zoom classes right away, Zoom come out bigly. Yes, yes. I'm just running with the Zoom, and then I started doing some live cooking shows, I started promoting the book more, and trust me, I thought the book wouldn't sell because of COVID, and nobody's going to cook, but trust me, people cook more. Because we're inside. Yeah. Yeah. What are you talking about? It's a perfect <laughs> time to have a cookbook. So I say, yeah, we can work with this. Yeah. Some say, let's beat up the chicken breast. Away. <laughs> what are you doing? All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm tenderizing the chicken, so I'm making it much thinner. And so earlier, I butterflied it. Okay. So now, okay. like a butterfly of a nice arch shape. And what I'm going to do now is just season this. And that this. creates the space for you to fill it? Yeah, yeah, a okay. nice space. So uh, some salt and pepper and... And, and go and season them up. And season them up. As a, a Jamaican... dry jerk over here. Yeah. As a Jamaican, that's, that's, that's a Jamaican chef or yeah. a Jamaican that's living overseas now. Um, I mean, obviously brand Jamaica is, is pretty big. Yeah. Um, in, in, in Canada. And, and how do you find just dealing with the fact that you're Jamaican, yeah. but you obviously infuse that in your cooking too. And I think they love it. Yeah. Because you see, the thing is, food no, no boundary, right? Food mm. travels and people traveling now more than ever. Yeah. So they, they came to Jamaica, they have the jerk, they have the oxtail, they have this. So when you're a Jamaican chef there, they like it. Mm. But for me, I don't want to stick to just the regular boring um, jerk and oxtail. I fuse it. Right. Because after a while it gets boring, right? Right. So what I'm doing now, and then get back to your question, is some feta cheese in some in a cooked kalaloo. Nice. Just some kalaloo liver from breakfast. Yes. Great way to use it up. So, 
Johnny number that eat out the culinary fridge, you can use that stuff. Can use that stuff. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> My thing is when Christmas Day, right, or mm -hmm. Thanksgiving, or all these holiday. People in the kitchen all day, and I like to eat my dinner two times. Right, two times. Twelve o'clock, and then you know by three o'clock again, or yeah. like evening six o'clock. Yeah. So I like when the food ready early. I don't like okay. the late cooking. Right. So prep as much as possible. You know, I don't like the. In addition <coughs> to not being in the kitchen too late, you get to spend time with family. Yeah, with family. And enjoy. If you like your family, that is. <laughs> <laughs> that's some family rough. <laughs> and then COVID also taught yes. us how to bond with family. Some people couldn't cope, so that's why, you know, yes. they're yeah. going to open a rum bar a bit early. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like the, the church as well. During Christmas, I see a, I see a falling in the <laughs> colour law, in the yeah, chicken man. breast. And it'll make um, a nice little. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to use the same plastic wrap. Okay. Hey. And then what we're going to do now is make it tight in yes. a roll. What does that do? So what it's going to do is keep the shape. Okay. It's in a nice shape there. Nice. You know, like when you was a baby and we were nappy and it's saying, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Same thing. I, yes. I mean, now that you have so much experience yeah. as a chef that's, that's doing so much, I mean, so many international events and yeah. cuisines, how do you... How do you appreciate a place like Mega Mart when you can walk in here and, yeah. and, and see products that you'd see anywhere across the world? Yeah, well, International brands. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, I think for me is like the first time I came to Jamaica, this was, you know, where I um, came because the good thing is I can get everything that I need. Mm -hmm. Also the brands. I know the brands and their familia. Yes. So when I come here, I don't need to worry that oh, I need to go somewhere else. I get everything that I need and I can just in and out and cook. So what are we doing next? I'm going to poach our chicken breast. And what it's going to do is make it more um, juicy instead of just roasting it, right? Mm -hmm. So poaching is literally yeah. boiling um, meat in a liquid? or is Yeah, it? So, basically, so you can poach on um, like egg as well. Okay. Just immerse it into liquid for a mm -hmm. short period of time just to cook it. So this is going to speed up the cooking process as well. All right. Yeah. All right, cool. So what's next? So what's next now is our croquettes. So what I've done earlier is boil my plantain mm -hmm. and right. my potato, right? All right, so yes. all we need to do now is just mash these, and I'm gonna add um some. What after you? After, after look, you know, like, <laughs> but it's Johnny, like, I, no, because it's like a magical kitchen, you know, just yeah, taking things out. Here, man. All right. Yes, yeah, so all we do now is just mash these. So you pre-cooked what those those? Yeah, these potato potatoes. until they're soft and you know ready Irish to mash. Irish potatoes and yeah. plantains. I plantains adding, there. Yeah, we're adding some coconut milk to that. Nice okay. Flavor. Yeah. Nice. Nice flavor. Keep it tropical and nice. Mm -hmm. So once we get these all nicely mashed, mm -hmm. so what I do now is basically make some small scoops. Okay. So I like using a scoop because all they're right. all... We can do some mashing then, you know. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm the kid today, right? Yeah. yeah. So let me do some mashing. So let's, you know, show them what's up. So Johnny, I go and mash. Okay. And so all we do is just make it into a ball. Mm -hmm. So I like using a scoop so everyone gets the same size. So Dante, don't say, oh, feed one bigger. So if you don't have a scoop at home, maybe you could use a big tablespoon? A big, yeah, man, a big tablespoon. Okay. So what I do now is just put this in some flour mm -hmm. first. And is it a light coat or...? Yeah, a light coat, some egg wash. And, it, and this now is breadcrumbs and parmesan. Okay. Yeah, so we just coat these. And the good thing with these is that you can freeze these and have these in the freezer for like, you know, a couple of months. Well, good, same way. Uh, I think we're mashed. Yeah, yeah we're good. So this is just the, the idea of it, right? Mm -hmm. And then, of course, I got some under By here. And I don't, I don't need Johnny Ron here, so again. <laughs> <laughs> this is something that you could pre prep as well, then. Yeah, man, pre prep, yeah, easily okay. pre prep. So, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do our chicken now, and I wanna fry these, and we're good to go. Okay, All right. sounds good. Yeah. So it looks like we're just about ready. Yeah, we're just about ready. So we're just plating up, and what we have over here now is, look at that, off. Mm -hmm. So we got our croquettes there, and of course, keeping it local again, right? Right. Some chocho and carrot. Nice. Nice. So we're using now, over here, like Johnny messed up one of my place, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to blame for everything. I'm going to blame for everything. He has to be blamed. <laughs> blame it on Johnny. So we're making our next, so we're making a board again. Okay. Right. Yeah, so we're just gonna slice our chicken breast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that one was rested for a bit? Eh? Yeah, so you want to rest it so all the juice can stay there and not, you know, mm -hmm. run out. Okay. So, yeah. so you had all, a lot of experience in Jamaica. Yes, yes. Working with a lot of these hotels prior to you leaving. Yeah. You find that we, in Jamaica, we, 
like some people say we, we tend to overcook our food. Yeah, man, we tend to overcook it. Right. And this is just some cream sauce and some pesto. Oh, nice. Okay. Yes, a little a Mediterranean style today, a little yeah. Jamaica's Italian. Jamaica's one like fusion. Fusion. Mm. fusion. So, mm. and, yeah, and that's pretty much it. That's it. And it's still Jamaican at the same time, you know, it's the same Jamaican stuff, Basil in night, and you know, Grandma always said Basil tea, good for you. Yes. To be honest, it was very simple. Very simple. Yeah. Very, very, very simple. simple. But well done. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, and why are you making a cocktail right now? Are you ready now? For, for a drink? Are you ready for Definitely. a drink? Of course. Because I'm ready for a drink, you know. So we got our glass over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Please tell us where we can get access to your book. So the book is on Amazon.com, Amazon CA UK. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. <laughs> yes. I am Chef Noel. My website, Cuisine by Noel. You can also order the book there as well. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. All right. And so then, you poured the eggnog. Eh? Yeah. So the eggnog and some ice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then usually I'll use two ounces of vodka, but I'm not driving today. Are you driving? I'm not. Okay. Are you driving, Johnny? <laughs> I'm driving. Of course. As usual. Really tasted. And I'm doing some. Always um, drink responsibly. Some of course. Of yeah. course, of course, which is right. But that's that's four ounces because yeah. this I'm gonna make um three cocktail over here. Yeah. Okay. So, you so you asked the right question though, which is are you yeah, driving? Are you driving? You have to yeah. be responsible, right? Absolutely. So just shaking this to get it all cool. Uh -huh. And then this one is for Kimmy. But what I'm gonna do first is Ooh, yeah. a little, fancy smoothie. Yeah, a little caramel over here, you know. All right. Get the glass all messy and festive. And yes. Yeah. I got some cinnamon sugar over here. Nice. All right. yeah. yeah. See, it's all about the knowledge. It's all about knowing what yeah. to do, right? So just rim in the glass, you know, mm -hmm. use up your terms. Mm -hmm. And then we're just going to pour. Nice. Right. Sorry that you have to be rushing so much. That's but this okay. Is TV, well. so <laughs> and of course, every single thing that we're using today is available yeah. right here at Mega Mart. Yes. Where else? So follow us on social media at Mega Mart Jamaica on Facebook and Instagram. Right. And of course, we're going to be sharing this delicious recipe with you. Yes, chef. Yes. yes. Oh yes, for sure, for sure. <laughs> and of course, if you want more delicious recipes, order his book. Yes. Uh, time is against us, ladies and gentlemen. So definitely want to thank Chef Noel. Mm -hmm for coming here and for it displaying an such pleasure. awesome skills. Uh, no wonder he's becoming a sought after international chef wherever he goes. Right. Thank you very much, sir, because yes, we're every time. Yeah, very, very proud of you, um, always. And just keep going on, Bridget. Yes, well, we definitely it. have to yeah, have you every back. Time. It was a pleasure. Every yeah, time. Man. Anytime. So of course we have to say a very special thank you to all the brand managers that stopped by the set today. A very special thank you to Rainforest Seafoods, Chazzy Ramson, Master Distributors and Caramel Limited who of course are participating in our Mega Mart Mega Trolley Dash promotion. Um, of course be sure to follow us on social media for all the details on how you could win some very very cool prizes. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah.